Captain Chaudhary, I have one more variation in the numericals that we are doing on the Simpsons and that is involving the appendage. Appendage is the extension on one side or the other of a curvilinear form. Curvilinear portion is calculated with the Simpsons and in addition to the Simpsons calculation there is an extension on one side or the other that is called appendage. Let us understand the appendage with the help of a simple numerical. Let us take a medium size freighter. So this part that is up to the draft of 1 meter is appendage. What we see is the water line at different drafts. So this is uh, 1 meter, 2, 3, 4 and 5 meters and TPC is given at uh, these drafts as 11, uh, 13, uh, 14, 15 and 16. Let's take round figures. 11, 13, 14, 15 and 16 are the TPCs at draft 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 meters respectively and the volume of appendage which extends from the keel till 1 meter draft which in the four and a half view is uh, seen like this uh, would be uh, something like uh, say 200 tons or 200 meter cube and the center of buoyancy for the appendage is probably 0 0.65 meters from the keel. This is the detail given in respect of the appendage. Otherwise, you are given the TPCs 11, 13, 14, 15 and 16. Now, TPC can give water plane area and you must know water plane area is equal to 100 times TPC divided by 1.025. So let us write down these TPCs. By the way, 100 divided by 1.025 gives me 97.561. 97.561 times TPC or it is K TPC where K is a constant equal to 97.561. So what I will do now is when I write the ordinates as 11K. 13k, 14k, 15k and 16k. Now 11 is the TPC but 11k is the water plane area in meter square. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means the number of segments are 4. I can use 1, 4, 1 rule. So 1, 4, 2, 4, 1. Become the Simpsons multiplier. 1, 4, 2, 4, 1 becomes the same Simpsons word multiplier. Third column is y dx. It is the product of first two columns. So 11k, 52k, 28k, 60k and 16k. The total becomes 167k. The lever, I always take the lever as the distance of ordinate from the first ordinate. So it becomes 0 here, h, 2h, 3h, 4h. Liver actually can be taken about the keel also, but it will unnecessarily involve extra calculation. This is the simplest if you take the liver about the first ordinate. So it becomes 0, 52hk, 56hk, 180hk, 64hk, and the total becomes 352H. Now if I want to find out what is the volume of the ship from 1 meter draft to 5 meter draft, the volume will be given by H by 3 into sum 1 that is 167K. 
cape that is the volume so uh, h is 1 in this particular case so this becomes 1 into 167 into value of k as i told you is 97.561 so the volume is given by h by 3 into 167k so let's see it is 167 into 97.561 equal to divided by gives me 5430.9 5430.9 meter cube so 5430.9 meter cube is the volume between 1 meter and 5 meter draft of the ship i want to find where is the position of the uh, center of buoyancy of this volume not the entire volume this volume between 1 meter and 5 meters so that will be given by the moment of this volume about 1 meter draft divided by the volume between 5 meters and 1 meter which means that if i do h by 3 into 352 hk and then divide it by h by 3 into 167k k and k gets cancelled h by 3 and h by 3 get cancelled so 352h and value of h is 1 so 352 divided by 167 gives me 2.108 gives me 2.108 that means if you talk about this portion of the volume of the ship that is between 1 meter and 5 meters the distance of the center of buoyancy for this volume from 1 meter draft is 2.108 which means that the distance from the keel will be 3.108 so we are dealing with two distances and two volumes the volume of appendage is 200 meter cube so that is v1 and the distance of the center of buoyancy of appendage from the keel is 0.65 that is the D1. Another volume is V2 that is 5430.9 is V2 and D2 that is the distance of the center of buoyancy of this portion from the keel from the same reference point is 3.108. So if I do V1 D1 plus V2 D2 divide by V1 plus V2 I will get the position of center of buoyancy right from the keel till the 5 meters graph whatever is the volume where is the center of buoyancy of that with respect to keel in other words what is the vcb or kb i can find out by v1 d1 plus v2 d2 upon uh, v1 plus v2 so v1 d1 is 200 into 0.65 v2 d2 is 5430.9 into 3.108 and v1 plus v2 would, would be 5630.9 let us try and do this calculation 200 into 0.65 equal to plus in the bracket i will put 5430.9 into 3.108 bracket close equal to divided by 5630.9 it gives me 3.021 it gives me 3.021 meters is the kb or vcb i can also find out the total displacement and total displacement will be 5630.9 into 1.025 equal to 5771 5771.67 7 1.67 tons so this is how i have used the areas to find out the volume if i am given uh, ordinates as areas like in the case of this freighter where i was given the tpcs at different drafts i could find out the volume right so we have also learned what is appendage like from the keel till one meter draft i was given the volume and the position of the centroid with respect to the keel then I was given TPCs from 1 meter to 5 meters both included. I could find out the volume between 1 meter and 5 meters. And then I could find out the common centroid of these two volumes. And that 
happened to be KB and KB was 3.021. Displacement was total volume multiplied by the density. So that happened to be 5771.67 tons. Thank mm -hmm. you.